Yes. Now hear this. Here is where you want uh, to go. You will like this one. Let's go. I tell you, in that night, there shall be two men in one bed. The one shall be taken and the other shall be left. Two women shall be grinding together. The one shall be taken and the other left. Two men shall be in the field. One shall be taken and the other shall be left. How are we standing together and working together and yet one of us is going? Because one has the spirit that is sensitive and has heard the sound. So it doesn't matter how God loves you or he doesn't. Listen, God loves every one of you. That's why it says, you shall say to me, I preached in your name. I healed you in your name. I said, I never knew you. Why? Because we don't vibrate at the same frequency. Now hear this thing that we read in the book of Corinthians. There is now something called constructive interference. Tell your neighbor constructive interference. All right. Constructive interference is when a certain wave of the same uh, magnitude, right? Wave meets another wave and they collide. When they collide, they create, they construct a bigger wave of a different magnitude than the one that is there. That means the, that means the body that can go to heaven is created or rather comes from Christ. The moment your spirit vibrates at the same level with God and this sound collides with your vibration and then a body is created that can go to heaven. So if you don't respond the same way, a body will never be created and you can never make it to heaven. Why? Your body does not make it to heaven. So it is not how God loves you. It is what shall happen when the sound comes and the sound that you are producing with your spirit, if they meet, something is constructed called your body. Same speed, same vibration mode. So God might love you. God might use you on earth. But on the day of the rapture, when the sound and the trumpet shall sound, if your spirit is not vibrating at the same level, nothing is created for you to be housed, for you to go to heaven, nothing, zero. So you remain here as rich in the spirit as you think you are, as deep in Christianity as you think you are, you'll only be a religious gong, nothing more. 